In this two minute video, I will be explaining our entry of Zero G. To control your ship in your Zero G, you use your mouse pointer, which can turn 360 degrees, and your forward and back arrow keys to control your ship, and your spacebar activates the laser. In Zero G, there is a very brief campaign with three missions where you complete different tasks. The original game was planned out to have about six missions and two different kinds of characters, but due to a uh, short amount of time, they had to be cut. The game is coded in Java and all animations and graphics were created by Hand and Paint, and all soundtracks were created in GarageBand. We made Zero G during our 35 minute lunch breaks over about a period of one month. There are a few glitches and bugs in Zero G that weren't able to be fixed due to little time. But the best feature of Zero G is the beautiful stick figure cutscenes made with the finest stick figure drawings and the most effort was put into those cutscenes ever. Like, it just took so long to make those cutscenes. It was unbelievable and it's easily the most outstanding bit of our game. In this sped up footage I, have com I completed the game in two minutes and that just basically shows you how short the game is, but it's not about the length of the game, but more about the humour that's quite, it's quite funny to play, and um, well, for us personally, that's what we wanted, it was not, nothing, not about being a great game, it's not about winning anything, it's just more about making a game, having a bit of fun with it, and that's, that's what we, that's, this is the result, Zero G, a, uh, a spaceship, crappy cutscene game.